first Celtic hat trick, but what he had to say afterwards. So I think that uh, with this hard work, we can achieve many things. The squad is really good. I think it's the best in uh, in the league. I think we're a well prepared team for every single game. We have a very good plan. We try to st- to stay committed in uh, in, the, in the plan. I think we in, we are better in every single every single part of, uh, of the team. We showed uh, that we're a better team. That's obvious. We show that we work harder in the field. I hope that and I I think that we will win the championship. It's something that we really want for us and uh, for the club and for the fans. So I think Celtic will win the title, says Georgios Yakimakis. Um, and Celtic are better in every department. John Hartson, what do you think? Well, he'll learn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if he's got a Twitter account or not. <laughs> Maybe not anymore. <laughs> no, but uh, obviously showing great confidence there. He's, he's obviously on a he's on a high, having scored his first hat trick for the club. He's made a big difference as well. He's come in. He's been that focal point. Totally different striker to uh, to Kyogo and Maeda, who's also played up there. But well, he'd be delighted with his hat trick. I thought the third goal was brilliant. You know, the diving head that he was brave. He got in there. His, his first goal as well, the twist and turn, uh, which beat the goalkeeper. And that's what Celtic centre forwards have to do. We've seen it from Rangers centre forwards in the past. You have to be in a position to go and win your team games and, you know, be, be the outstanding player on the pitch and go and get the goals that you were brought in to do. We saw it at um, you know Eredivisie when he when he was uh, top goal scorer in the league. His team went down, but he's come. He's you know he's stuck in there. He's had regular games. The manager really likes him. He gives a, gives the team a different option. You can play it into the box. You can play. You can cross it in. You know he's going to try and get on the end of things, and that'll do him the world of good. Great confidence, and you can see that he's a confident boy with his comments. You know, but. Uh, as I said, he's uh, you know there's nothing wrong with saying that if you think it, um, but as I said, sometimes you can uh, maybe wait until until the deal is done before you go out on a limb and say things. But that's what I've gone wrong in the past. Right? <laughs> Was Sunday Crags the day Georgios Yakimakis arrived as a Celtic striker and showed us why he did score the best part of thirty goals in the Netherlands top flight last season? Well, you get the feeling he's been building up to it. There's been little parts of his game that have been good. He's got himself some goals. But that'll be the one that will convince him a little bit more. Of course, you still have always have to convince supporters and, and board members and opposition players and whoever else. But I think that will give him the belief, Rob, to really go and kick on. I think John said it. You know, his array of goals, poacher's goals, all within, what, double six-yard box? You know, you talk mm. about, and, and I've done it previously, when you're looking at stats of goals, I think something like 80 odd or over 80% of goals are scored in the double six yard box. And he got three in there. You know, you can't fail to score goals at Celtic as a centre forward if you're a penalty box centre forward with Jota and Abada, Turnbull when he's fit, Rogic, O'Reilly, Juranovic, Greg Taylor's deliveries. You, you should be scoring a, a number of goals. And the presence that he has, the physicality, John's right, he gives him something different. And it's probably something they lacked last Thursday against Boda. You know, they couldn't just throw the ball forward and it wasn't taken in. Maeda is a runner. He wants to go in behind. His link-up play probably has to improve. His uh, build-up play and hold-up play has to improve. Jakimakis attracts the ball. He attracts defenders. He allows players to come close to him. He allows players to run beyond him because he can hold the ball. He's a different type of striker. And I think he'll start on Thursday night. I mean, why would he not? He scored a mm-hmm. hat-trick. He's, you know, he can't wait for the next game to come around. With regards to his comments, I don't have any problem with them. You know, I keep hearing people saying, well, Rangers should pin that up on their dressing room wall and read that. Yeah. If Rangers players, and this is this is not coming from the Rangers players, but if they can't motivate themselves to go and win a title, you can't rely on an opposition player motivating you to go and win it. Yes, you might use it as fuel to get the players going, but it, it really shouldn't be, you know, a big thing. He said something, that's what he believes. So what, move on with it. Tell Alexa to launch Go Radio or listen on the Go Radio app.